What's going on guys? My master Aaron back here again today and we're back with another episode of the Madden 22 Ultimate Team Gameplay Series. Today, wait a minute, hold up, stop the music. Today, for my people that are banned, for my people that have just been banned today, and for my people that have just been unbanned, this one's for you. Now that we have that out of the way, I just wanted to say shout out to my people that are going through it and shout out to my people that have just got through it. Let's check out the team, check out the new acquisitions because we actually have two and then of course let's get into the game. Obviously the same players that we still had. We're not going to do anything on this side in today's episode, but in the next we might. A defense right away, Brian the Boz. Bosworth, yes, he's back in Madden, and he's actually better than he has been. He's got 88 speed, 87 excel, 83 strength, 88 tackling with 88 play rec, 91 block shedding, 91 hit power, and 85 zone. So obviously, he is the best zone coverage linebacker that we have in the entire lineup. Because AJ Hawk was primarily, and he's got plus 10 over AJ Hawk, so hopefully this guy actually starts locking things up over the middle. Okay, and Mr. Rule Maker himself. Why do I say Rule Maker? Because this guy has that one clip where he actually paralyzed the guy with one hit. Bruh. Complete quadriplegic. So you know exactly how hard he's coming. 89 speed, 91 excel, 85 tackling, 89 play rec, 89 pursuit, 83 man, 94 zone with 91 hit power. Jack Tatum is on the team and he's here to stay and yes, he replaced Sean Taylor, like I said. So those are the only moves that we've made. Clearly, we're only going to get better from here on out. But like I said in the last episode, please comment which players you want to see gameplays of so I can get them in the lineup and start working on it. Like I said, if you want to see an offensive player from Team Diamonds, make sure to comment down below because that is the side that we're going to be switching to in the next episode. Other than that, let's get into the game. A little annoyed. Brian Bosworth is supposed to have Enforcer on him. I put it on Jack Tatum, but for some reason, I guess it didn't um, register that I put it on him. But there we go. Warren Sapp with the TFL. All right. We have Bosworth over here at sub linebacker. I'm going to go ahead and use him when he's in this formation, just because obviously we know that uh, Cam Chancellor is going to go ahead and be better coverage. And honestly, it was kind of the lag that fucked us there. Here he goes. Fourth down. This is potentially our best chance to see what Brian Bosworth has over the middle. I know he's coming inside, so we're actually going to just go ahead and play pass. Again, all we need is Brian Bosworth to do his job. It looks like he's actually playing pretty solid Jones and Jack Tatum. Oh my goodness. Is he going to make a pick six? His first big play of the game. It's going to be a pick six for 88 yards. Let's go, Jack Tatum. Hall of Fame legend. Let's go. All right, Brian Bosworth, you officially just lost the right to have the title of the gameplay. Oh my goodness, Jack Tatum. Literally, I didn't even know he was covering that well. 94 zone, clearly playing like it. I, I, dude, I don't know what to say. There we go, Roy Williams. What? Roy Williams getting burned. Go, Bosworth. Go, Bosworth. Nope. Oh, what? Well, that's not exactly how I was expecting it to go. 94 zone Roy Williams not even getting his hands on the ball. Literally just getting absolutely embarrassed and not getting a block. He literally just ran past it. So there's an issue there, but we'll take the first down. Jimmy Graham again being the best tight end in the game. Again, we shouldn't have really given up that touchdown. We literally jumped the ball. We were in perfect positioning. I think it's just another fault of the Ooh. game. And the mechanics, oh my god, Curtis Martin with the dirtiest juke going all the way into the end zone. Let's go! 92 speed Curtis Martin finally actually getting to see what that plus one speed looks like. And it was nice to get away from Cam Chancellor because in our last gameplay, we had no chance. Like everywhere we were, he was. And again, I don't know how it just allows them to adjust like that. It doesn't cover one person. And again, it still did that, but at least I was able to get onto it because I knew that's what he was doing. Honestly, that's fucking bullshit. If you can do one play and it completely reroutes your defense, that should not be in the fucking game. There's no reason why I should have complete man coverage and because he flips his play, I lose. Closing inside, he's actually at the 10 yard line. So if we do get a stop right here, I'm gonna start calling my timeouts, but still, I'm really not liking what I'm seeing from Braz, but we're not really giving him a chance to make any plays. And honestly, he's fast, he's got the skills, and he's got the height. There should be no reason why we don't get a play off of him. And again, like I said, like the, oh, okay, well then we'll just not cover zone. It's technically at the end of the half, but really I haven't seen anything on defense that makes me think that he has a good defense and he does not. I'm already gone. Okay, well, I'll see you later. 75 yards in one play. Let me go ahead and just waste the clock a little bit because that is what we can do with this offense. Let's go. I'm actually getting a little bit of boost because of our new chemistry card. So unless 
unless you have something smart to run. Oh, Jack Tatum. Jack Tatum with a user. Yes, sir. Let's go, big dog. You are not about to just throw that shit up on me. Oh, Jack Tatum. Oh, I thought we had a big six. For some reason, this guy decided to onside kick it, but I got a little fun and I just ran the ball back. I don't know why people are like that. Like, if you can't run defense, just don't play this game. As far as game plays go, Jack Tatum has literally showed up. I don't know how we got that interception through a lag spike. But we did, so I will go ahead and take it. Let's go ahead and get that. Another first down. Let's go. Move the ball. Honestly, I don't really see anybody. There we go. Jimmy Graham. What? Why do I hate Spec so much? Because every year, I always get a player that insists on not catching the ball with two hands. Instead, he just one-hands it. And that is probably one of the bigger issues for me every year. Third and ten, stifling out just a little bit. But again... Like I said, I hate people with spec cash. Like, it always happens to me. People will always get one hand on the ball when they're wide open versus just catching the ball. Just do your job and catch it. There we go. That should be a good throw, but a very, very late throw. Come on. Zach Wilson is doing a pretty solid job of working his way off of my team. I have deep range dead eye, and I, I still do not understand why we are getting the absolute worst animations. We got so lucky right there, and I still don't know why we stopped running. If you watch that play back, for some reason, Joey Galloway just stops running. Had he had somebody better at outside linebacker, we're getting intercepted. Pick up the block, and there we go. Curtis Martin truck his ass over. Getting into the end zone for another touchdown. I'm going to go ahead and hop on the safety. We are blitzing balls right now, so there should be no reason that he doesn't come in as long as I'm covering the tight end. I don't think he really has anybody else over the middle. So again, okay, making a play, but not getting the first. It's really fun when the people that are getting blitzed are you, but it always sucks when people are blitzing yourself, right? Again, I'm blitzing. I'm blitzing Brian Bosworth. I'm going to drop into coverage with Warren Sapp, and I promise that if we don't get a sack, we are going to get an eye or an incompletion. There's no way. There we go. Everybody's locked up. Swap <laughs> that. Again, I'm getting caught. Do I have to put on Roy Williams to get an animation? Every single game we play, that dude just refuses to jump for the ball or to get an interception. I seem like a little unjustly frustrated, but the motherfucker has a 94 zone. There is no reason he should be chasing the receiver. He should be there the entire time getting burned and our DBs are not there, barely making the tackle. There is no reason he should not be there and Brian Bosworth is in the backfield. Let's go. There is no way. There is no way. Please make a play. And again, where the fuck is my zone? Honestly, it was supposed to be a Brian Bosworth gameplay, but just seeing how Jack Tatum balled out, I really cannot take the title from him. Like, there's no way, right? Again, just easy. Like, what are you doing? What coverage are you running? I can't be too mad because Jack Tatum technically showed up. Like, he did his job, but that's not really the person we wanted to showcase. I wanted to see Brian Bosworth make some big plays. Look at Tyreek Hill. I wanted to see something like that. We're going to go ahead and replace Keith Smith in the next episode. There is no reason that he should be doing the things that he does. And honestly, it's just pissing me off. Like, it's not, it, I'm just getting mad. I honestly don't care at this point. Kind of annoyed. I want to embarrass this guy as much as possible. Jimmy Graham. Okay, just do the job then. What? What the? Here we go. Time to see if Jack Tatum can actually get his third INT of the gameplay. I'm super impressed with how he's playing, but we also have him plus two zones, so... All right, no huddling. Obviously, he has no choice. I think he's just going to go ahead and play the game out. If he does, I respect him. But if he throws an interception, he deserves it. Again, getting blown up and Clowney clinching the game. Let's go. Well, shout out to this guy for not quitting. Uh, Zach Wilson, not even worried about him, had a pretty awful day. But defensively, these are the guys that we want to worry about. Jack Tatum, three solo tackles, but two interceptions. And let's not forget, one was a pick six, 116 total interception yards. And again, probably the best player on this entire defense today. I'm super, super excited with what I saw from him. Again, he's getting plus two zone, so he's at 94 zone. But still, this card is badass. 5'9", five, 5'10", five, I don't give a shit. If you're going to jump the ball and get pick sixes, and if you're going to jump it multiple times, you deserve to be in my team. Roy Williams barely skates away for making that last second interception, but Jack Tatum absolutely stole the show, and I'm so happy that I went ahead and bought him. We'll probably see more from Brian Bosworth later on, but again, it, he really wasn't just throwing at him, so there was no opportunity for him to make a play. But Jack Tatum really showed out and really impressed me, so I'm so glad we added him. I'm heartbroken that we left Sean Taylor, but still... 
We have to make what moves are good for the team. Thank you so much for watching. A little bit of a hell game into the last quarter, but still. So happy that we actually got to showcase one of the two players. Jack Tatum really showed up and saved the gameplay, so I'm super grateful for that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment which players you want to see down below. We will be doing offensive players, so keep that in mind. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Master, and I'll see you guys in the next one.